I haven't seen Cheek press himself like this since we were in boot camp. He's fine, Fred. And this many missions non-stop isn't fun. Sierra 117 to infinity. Blue team has located Argent Moon. Signs of hostile activity, but she's still here. Copy that, 117. Eliminate all hostiles. Secure Argent Moon. You may deploy when ready. Affirmative infinity. 117 out. Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's the Tyrant here. Happy Friday to you and welcome back to my Halo 5 Guardians Skulls Location Guide. Today we're focusing on Mission 2, which houses the Black Eye Skull. For those of you who aren't sure what this skull does, basically, every time you take hits, your shield goes down like it normally would, but it does not recharge like it normally would. The only way you can get your shields back is by meleeing an enemy, which is not always easy. In fact, normally isn't. Just like with my previous video, I am going to show you how to get there from the start of the mission. I'm not going to speed anything up, because unlike most videos I see, I should say like most videos I see that uh, pertain to the skulls, uh, they either you know speed up the video so that it's hard to tell where they are, and or they just start somewhere near the skull. No, I want to show you how to get there from the start of the mission, because if you're on a skull hunt, you need a good walkthrough. So that's what we'll be doing today. You can get this skull on any difficulty. There's really only one skull out there that is required to be on a specific difficulty, and we're not going to worry about that today. So we're just going to run through here. Miss that guy. You start out with a pistol, which you're going to have to use, unfortunately, until later on in the mission. Not a problem. That was a terrible shot. And there we go, jackal down. Let's get this lead out of the way real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up this storm rifle. I don't use this weapon enough. And there is some more pistol ammo right there. You can pick that up if you want to. There's actually more ahead as well. Just want to deal with this guy real quick. There we go. Go ahead and hit the switch. And you just have to stand around for just a second while all your allies talk. And then... The door will open. There we go. So get in the elevator. Don't wa bother waiting for your allies. They'll automatically spawn in. This is really no different than what a regular walkthrough would look like. Oh! There they are. <sighs> Passing the time, riding the elevator. The Great Glass Elevator. <sighs> okay, here we go. So, just charge on through like you normally would. Don't bother with the shotguns. Personally, I don't find much use for them. Especially on the higher difficulties. So, we're just going to run through here, clear up the side, oh, missed the jump. Never really been great at jumping in this game. Don't believe me, look at all my Warzone firefight videos. 
So we're gonna run up here real quick. There's more ammo over there if you need it. There's actually a battle rifle up and to the right. Up and to the right from here, I guess. Um, not worried about that right now because there's a battle rifle in the hunter room, but we do want to pick up the DMR, so we're going to do that in just a moment. Looks like I can corner by some elite, so i got to take these guys out real quick. Not a problem. Okay, here we go. Ah, really? You know, there was a ledge right there. All right. So, go ahead and grab the DMR right here. You don't need the pistol anymore. There we go. Now you can just pretty much sprint your way through the rest of this particular mission. So, or particular segment of the mission. There's a Hydra here. So no problem. And honestly, I think this is the easiest part of the level. So, no worries there. Just run right over here. Don't even bother waiting for the Hunter. Just jump over the railing, do a ground pound, and there you go. Blue Team, report. Sierra 117 to Blue Team, report. Sierra 117, does anyone copy? Domain is open. Meridian is next. Cortana? John, the reclamation is about to begin. And we're back! I have no idea what that was about. So this is where things get a little bit more complicated. You have to go through a series of tunnels with a bunch of grunts hiding throughout them. And, you know, some of them are suicidal, so you got to be careful about that. Usually I just take them out with the plasma pistol. Don't, don't want to waste any DMR ammo on these guys. That's just me, though. So then we're going to run straight forward, and you'll enter a room where the grunts are typically sleeping, but sometimes they will be awake. So if they are, they'll typically try to suicide you. So just be aware. They, there we go. Plasma pistol works just fine, though. And as soon as they're all dead, the door on the other side will open, and an elite will come through. Just take him out real quick. Well, two elites. There we go. Got this grunt real quick. All right. Now you can just speed run through here if you want to. You don't really need to take out all the enemies, but I like to have my allies with me, especially for this next part. It is a little bit more tedious. Not enough. At least in my opinion. Plus, your allies can be used as a great distraction. Whoop. 
All right, now watch your corner here because there will be a grunt. There we go. Reminds me of uh, Exodus from Halo Reach. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up a fresh plasma pistol. You got a couple of jackals over here. One grenade should take care of them. And you've got one suicide grunt behind them. And there should be one more. Yep, there we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my allies go over there. And I'm going to... What are you doing? And I'm going to go flank them from the left-hand side. There is one sleeping grunt over here, so just be aware. I thought he was a dead grunt at one point, and that was a mistake. So we're just going to go ahead and jump down here. Your allies should be on the other side. And we're just going to try to flank these guys. There are going to be two jackals up here right up front. Take those guys out as quick as you can. Once you've downed enough of the enemies, the door will open, and a cloaked elite with an energy sword will come through there. So just FYI. So we're going to take out this guy real quick. We're going to take his sword. There we go. And we're going to use that for the hunters later. That part's not too bad. As long as you know what to do, as long as you know where everything is, you should be okay. But it does get pretty dark in there, even with your flashlight. Your broken fra flashlight, if you will. Yeah, your broken flash right. So we got to wait again for Fred to stop talking so we can finally activate this thing. Come on. There we go. We're going to take a short elevator ride down and confront some hunters. I love these hunters. They look just evil. they got the headlight eyes. I like how it actually shows how the hunters work with the uh, legato worms or however you pronounce it. These guys just look scary. Yeah, come on. Toro, Toro. Aim for the back with the energy sword. Two to three swipes typically does it. Not always, though. And you do have to watch out for the second one because he can attack you at the same time. So just be aware. Let your allies distract the hunter if you can. We're going to see what we can do here. Try to get her behind it quick. Their melee attacks are pretty quick, especially compared to... Halo 4. So, all right, hunters are down. You want to try to take them out if you can, just because if you don't, they will appear at the end of the mission alongside the other pair of hunters. So, you can grab a battle rifle from up here. No need for the sword anymore. Sword does help you run 10% faster, but that's really not going to help you for this next part because uh, you have to kill all the Covenant anyway. But I'm going to show you two neat tricks, not just where the, where the skull is, but a cool little flanking trick. I might do a uh, 2.0 guide for this mission just for that alone because the the next room is what typically gave me the most trouble especially with the jackal snipers which i'm sure you guys have seen my video on that one by now go ahead and charge through here and let's see any snipers okay sometimes he's out sometimes he's not so i'm going to take out these two elites real quick they're typically the most menacing Usually this will be followed by a few Storm Jackals. But I just want to take out the uh, enemies in this area real quick. These are going to be the most menacing for what you have to do. Alright, let me finish this guy off real quick. So as soon as you come up here, there's going to be a, a few Storm Jackals or Jackal Rangers or whatever you want to call them. I call them Storm Jackals just because they have Storm Rifles. So we're going to go ahead and take these guys out real quick. Just mind the sniper on the far end. Remember on Legendary, he can take you out in one hit. They have put in a patch since then that prevents them from taking out your uh, allies in one hit, which is a good thing. Um, so once you're at this crate, you want to jump up here. We're going to go ahead and travel along this pipe. And once we're here, jump over to this little ledge. So you're actually right above the control center right now. And then you want to jump up here, and there's a vent. That's right there. So you want to do a, go ahead and do a little ground pound. And the black eye skull is right there. There you go. That's it. And by the way, if you stay here long enough, the door just opposite of here will open. There we go. 
just right there. And so you, that's the control room right there. So you can essentially just hold out in one point. You've got all this ammo right here and you can take out all the Covenant that way. So much easier than doing it the conventional way. Thank you guys so much for watching. So what do you think of this? What was the hardest goal for you? You can let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter. Links to my social media can be found in the description below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button for more video game related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on MythicTower.com. Don't forget about Q&A Saturdays as well as Sunday Fundays in our live broadcast. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.